hasn't heard of PHP. It's the oldest language and Laravel is the most popular framework. And just when you thought that Laravel wasn't that relevant or powerful in 2022, we are here with a discussion based on why Laravel is still one of the most powerful PHP frameworks. According to statistics, there are more than 600,000 active websites built using Laravel worldwide. Now you might wonder about the reasons like why Laravel is so much popular and still relevant now. So just like you, I am also e eager and having a lot of questions. Um, for that, we are having Jigisha Khatri, senior Laravel developer working at Vacancy. Before starting our discussion, let me give a little introduction about Jigisha. She has been working with Laravel for more than six years. And not only Laravel, she is familiar with other PHP frameworks as well. She has worked in different domains and built various websites related to e-commerce, financial applications, and various CRM websites as well. So, hello, Jigisha. Thank you for taking your precious time and being part of this discussion that why use Laravel. Hello, Archita. I'm very glad to be part of the discussion and honored as well to share my knowledge with the Fox Virgin. Thank you for having me. Okay, so pleasure is all mine, Jikisha. Uh, as you mentioned, you are having uh, more than six years experience in Laravel, right? So my question is like, what kept you going with Laravel? In the industry, in this IT industry where developers are shifting nowadays to Node.js and Python, what kept you with Laravel? Like, why should one choose Laravel? So, I know developers and decision makers look down on the PHP frameworks, but I will say that Laravel is a completely different framework. So there are a few of the reasons that I can say that Laravel is one of my favorite frameworks. So first of all, it's progressive nature. Second one is its MVC architecture. Third is the most important, which Laravel gives authentication authorization system. So let me give you a brief about all the three points. First, I have said it's progressive nature. So Laravel documentation itself claims to be Laravel as a progressive framework because of its growing nature. Like it actually grows, grows with the application according to the market demands and it also gives the constant updates as well. So that's why Laravel framework is still thriving in the market. So we can say as per the this, we can say that Laravel is completely progressive in nature. So second one is the, its embassy architecture, I will say. So sec, uh, to develop any kind of uh, enterprise level application, the most important part of the Laravel application is its embassy architecture pattern. So uh, Laravel also provided the inbuilt functionality, which we have, we can use in our web application while we are going with the development process, which gives the enhance, uh, reduces the development time as well cost to build any web applications. Third, which I've said most of the important authentication and authorization system. So we, we can we know that the authentication is most important thing in our web application. Each and every website has login feature as well. So Laravel is providing out of the box authentication authorization system as well. So lastly, I will say like Laravel also offers some of the features like unit testing, automation, task scheduling, etc as well which reduces the cost of the uh, web application and time as well okay so that's pretty impressive actually and i wasn't aware that how simply powerful laravel is like with so much simplicity how much power laravel gives to a developer to build such a website in in considerate amount of time okay so as you mentioned about Laravel ecosystem, and I have read a few blogs in which they have mentioned that Laravel is providing a very powerful and robust ecosystem as well. So I would take, I would like to take this topic on our table, and if you can help us and help our viewers understand what is so precious about Laravel ecosystem. Sure, Achita. 
so i will uh, laravel ecosystem provides the powerful features like i will say uh, checking checking active users uh, active users by ha hashing so by crypt hashing we can use to any kind of password uh, password saving or any kind of uh, like sensitive data saving we can use by hashing password reset option encryption within the framework so laravel also providing some of the uh, packages which we can uh, easily install and use to developing any kind of feature in laravel so let me share my screen and let you know, show you some of the packages and brief you some of the packages as well here you can see there are a lot of packages which are which laravel is providing so let me give you some of the example like scott telescope uh, dusk socialite there are some of the packages which 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 are uh, useful in each and every uh, laravel applications for example scott there is a search feature in each and every application web application so laravel provides the scott which, uh, for example, if we have to search for any keyword and get fetch the data on the basis of that keyword, so Laravel Scott is providing full text search for your application with the allocate ORM. So it uh, directly sync with the allocate records and gives the record uh, gives the result as soon as possible, which reduces the uh, time as well and gives the performance of the web application. So Laravel works with Laravel Scott works with Algolia, Millimesh, MySQL, Postgres SQL driver as well. So if you can see, Laravel documentation is also using the Algolia Scott with the Algolia search with it, within its search functionality as well. Second one, I will say Telescope. So Telescope, do currently we are. In each and every website, telescope is useful as uh, each and every, we have to debug each and every code and have to check the performance of the application. So telescope is, is a PHP debugging tool as we are using uh, inspect element tool in the Java, jQuery or JavaScript. So similarly, telescope, uh, Laravel provided a telescope plugin, which is used to for debug the PHP application. And we can see the, the request and response time how much time uh, execution time any error and all the things you can check with the telescope so uh third i will say that like, about the dust so uh you know in in each and every application we have to test the, that application web application before the deployment and before go live so laravel is provided the dust plugin for the testing purpose as well and lastly i will say about the social life so uh, you know each in each and every application there is definitely a feature of login so now it is socialite uh, we are, we are going we use the social login feature on uh, we have seen social login feature in each and every uh, website so laravel providing a socialite feature to authenticate our application or login our applic web application via facebook twitter github etc as well so it, uh, th these are the ecosystem which we can say that we can integrate of within any of the web application La within the Laravel or it can reduces the Laravel ecosystem allows us to reduce the cost of the web application and we can develop our application in the lesser time. Okay. Um, wow, I believe there's almost every Laravel tool available, every, li every library is available for a developer to just build a new feature using that tool and library as simple as possible. So that's actually a relief when it comes to development. Like there's uh, development feels, development is not so much nightmare when Laravel is having such a enriching ecosystem, you know. So yeah, uh, Jikisha, this were the technical reasons you mentioned that why one should go with Laravel. So I would like to shed some light on the per, uh, business side of using Laravel. So if you can help us with that. Sure. Uh, so coming to the business side, you know, each and every client or owner has the similar expectations or requirement when it comes to the developing any kind of product. So they may go through some researching in the market and for the technology stack for which domain they have to go with and the for their domain and which uh, 
text that they have to finalize. So definitely their requirements vary from uh, product to product and client to client and age and average stage. So in my, but still in my opinion, there are a few concerns, but where Laravel can be the consider uh, to be the good as per the business perspective as well. So we can say the development process in the Laravel is quite faster. So due to its faster development process, which reduces the market time. So, you know, each and every product owner wants his website to be launched as soon as possible in the market. So within the Laravel, there are many inbuilt features and functions that provide with, which uses the latest PHP principles. So that speeds up the development process of the web application, which making the Laravel quick. So when you are dealing with the Laravel, there are, there need to be a, we do not need to be spent long hours of time or week to writing an individual line of code as it provides the many of the input features as well. Second, I will go with the traffic handling where, you know, each and have product owner wants its website to grow very, very fastly. And as the web, web application or any kind of application grows, there are definitely the number of user also increases. So as number of user increases, traffic will also increase and there will be the, a lot of uh, database. Uh, there, there is a lot of database activity increases. So Laravel provides the good uh, feature of traffic handling. So it becomes the uh, traffic handling which uh, where web application fetches the num more number of requests and can give the easily and uh, the response in the Laravel application. So when it comes to the number, as number of requests increases, so web application or the hosting server also get the expensive price tag and can, due to the high pressure and high request, it can also can stop the functionality and can give the data loss as well. So Laravel is providing for that purpose. There are a queue system or the for load balancing. Laravel is providing a massive support over there. So we can become the server web server healthy and can give the effective traffic management. Third, I will go with the scalability. It's the third uh, third uh, point is the scalability where we can I can say that Laravel is a incredibly scalable and it provides the inbuilt support for to distribute the cache system like Redis horizontal scaling with make the Laravel is too easy and we can see that Laravel can easily scale or Laravel application has been easily scaled with the hundreds of millions of requests per month so there is a platform Laravel web per which extremely scale scaling to allow uh, allowing you to run the Laravel application with the limitless scale uh, scale on the uh, AWS latest serverless technology. Okay, so this was quite insightful and summing up the business perspective, uh, faster development is the first point. Second is traffic handling. Laravel does it exceptionally well. And the last is scalability. So yeah, these are powerful parameters and uh, these are powerful parameters that a product owner always considers. So yeah, thank you Jigisha for helping us with this. Now, I think there's always two sides to the coin, right? Like uh, if one is having so much advantages, I guess there might be few limitations to Laravel as well. Or maybe some other framework works better than Laravel in few domain. So according to you, uh, what do you think? Where one should use Laravel and one should not go with Laravel? So rightly said, Ashita, it completely depends on the project requirement respect of the domain sometime. So still, if we are taking the scenario, we can surely assemble a few domains where Laravel is sure short hit to just or where we have to take the risk. So I will take an example of e-commerce website. For example, if we are going to develop any e-commerce website, so I would suggest not to go with Laravel rather than go with the Magento framework as it providing the best e admin panel and the many features which each e-commerce website have like add to art facility, wish list product, payment gateway, shipping methods, etc. So basically for e-commerce website, the Magento is the boilerplate of to choose 
as and in laravel if uh, definitely in laravel we can develop the e-commerce website but we have to give uh, increase we have to give more time and we have to scratch or develop each and every functionality from scratch definitely there are some tools and libraries and libraries which we can use but we have to scratch each and every line from the scratch and which increases the development time as well so uh, if it comes to the uh, any kind of crm system or any kind of management system to manage the data then laravel is the best choice like if we have we are going to develop any employee management data or uh, ma management system or if uh, we are hospital management system or college management system or student management system so for the crm purpose laravel is the best choice so as far as our concern is why should not we use laravel so i think laravel works fine almost in all the domains but when it work it works fine with those the customer relationship management side, like kind of any kind of management system we can go with the laravel and as it provides the security as well to any to develop any application and malware attack as well it provides the sec secure connection as well okay so i guess uh... and the conclusion is that laravel is gem of a php framework we can use we can go with any domain if we are particular about our requirements and as you said it provides the very secure like as you said it provides secure connection and it works best for banking and finance finance related application as well the most important concern while deciding technical stack is security and as the application grows how to manage the database and how to avoid the performance issues these are the few concern which product owners obviously have so yeah i would like to hear your opinions on how laravel is secure enough as you said in the last point and how we can avoid performance issues when we are using laravel so archita when it comes to performance with laravel you will never have to worry about website speed equipped with ton tons of features and out of the box functionalities it has take your business to the next level tools such as redis memcache has improved web laravel application performance and enhancing the overall productivity and usability of your web application or the mobile application uh for the security a study by owasp foundation uh, described sql injection cross site scri scripting etc as the most critical web application for the security vulnerabilities vulnerabilities as you will be relieved to know that laravel is super secure and does not allow any malware attacks and or security threats to enter in your web application so when it comes to the security the, i can say or we can say that laravel is completely secure for your web application by protecting it against the most of security risk like sql injection cross site for scripting etc this simply implies php web application is completely secure with the web application so both the concern that is security and performance issues are not actually concerned when it comes to laravel So that's all for now, Jigisha. Thank you so much for taking your time and discussing why one should choose Laravel, the parameters the product owners should consider, and where should we use Laravel and where should not we use Laravel. Thank you, Archita, for giving me the opportunity to discuss about the Laravel. I hope the video has shed some light on why use Laravel, and we'll be back with another technology with another video. till then you can check our last video why use node js and if you feel if you like our content then please feel free to like share and subscribe thank you